This is Lanicera reticulata. I think it's commonly called the grape honeysuckle or something silly like that. Um, this is a really cool honeysuckle. Uh, it's native um, here in northern Indiana. Uh, it's got this, this kind of arching um, vine, twining, vine-like uh, habit. As you can see here with this, it has these opposite leaves. See, they're opposite leaves. They're round, look at this, look how round they are. Uh, which is, differentiates it from a lot of our other uh, native honeysuckles that also have this twining habit. They differ from something like the Japanese honeysuckle in that they have more tubular flowers, but not just that, the flowers here, if you can see here, let's do this, the, the flowers are in a terminal, um, terminal inflorescence here, as you can see there. They're in the terminal inflorescence. Maybe it's not zooming well on it. Uh, whereas something like Japanese honeysuckle will have the flowers in the axle. So like right there and right there, they'd have a flower or two coming out. This is a really neat plant uh, in that I just don't see it flowering often. So this is exciting. Uh, it has these, these creamy yellowish white flowers. It has these five exerted stamen. See those stamen just sticking way out of the corolla, the tubular corolla. Um, oh, this just fell off. So uh, it has these rolled, so it has these five, these five petals, the corolla lobes, excuse me, corolla lobes, and uh, they're curled up. See how they're curled there? I think you can see it there. There we go, there we go. Yep, nice and curled up. They were hairless, so it's, it's hairless. Uh, on the outside of the Corolla, in the inside of the Corolla. Unlike something like Linicera, um, I just picked that. <laughs> Unlike Linicera dioca or Linicera hirsuta, which is gonna have hair on the outside on hirsuta and in the inside, and then on the, just the inside on dioca. Uh, the leaves under the inflorescence uh, are conate, which is this, this like merged, these leaf-like, uh, under the inflorescence, they're merged together like a plate and the stem shoots right through it. Otherwise, they are just oppositely arranged. So that's cool and that's unique to our native species. Something like um, Linicera sempervirens is uh, the, um, I forget the common name of that, but that's, that's native to uh, south of Indiana. Um, southeastern and eastern United States. Uh, but that's gonna have red Corollas longer. It's not gonna have as, the lobes aren't gonna be as big and they don't roll up like this, but that's also hairless. One other thing I wanted to point out is that the stem is hairless, glaucous. It has this, this white powdery, like waxy white, um, whiteness to it. And then uh, the underside of the leaf as well. As you can see here, let's see if we can get this Shadows, shadows, let's get it out of the shadows. Too much shadows. So there, it's, uh, there we go. It's glaucous on this side, which is this white, whitish, grayish look. And then look at how nice and green it is on this side. Nice and green, glaucous. And it's hairless too, so it's super hairless. So, cool plant, yeah. Um, Linicera reticulata, grape honeysuckle.